Hi, so we are playing XCOM Enemy Within on classic difficulty with larger alien pods enabled. How to take care of the important mission map. Step 1. Get your team up on the roof of that first building. And FYI, I always move my assault unit first because of the run and gun ability allowing them to retreat should I have to. Okay, once we're on the roof, we begin to advance slowly, taking as much cover as we can, trying not to trip both pods at the same time. We, at this point, for the sake of this video, already know that there will be two pods ahead of us. The idea here is we're going to actually trip the pod on the roof across the street and not down below. Notice the roof has glass windows on the top here, which means we need to pay attention to what will be coming through at us down below as well. And I just move very, 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 very slowly with my assault. That alien is unusually human in its appearance. They could be using it as an infiltration unit of some kind. I'd recommend capturing it for further analysis. And I've tripped the pod. Now, I'm going to back up to cover. Important note here is the AI cheats. The moment I'm going to break a line of sight with the AI, the AI is actually going to scan the entire board and it will actually know where I've positioned my team. So no fancy positioning. I'm going to go Got take that. very basic cover like that and AI then will more or less come with me in a straight line. I've by the way very carefully measured out my distances so my sniper where I just moved uh, it's basically pre-planned. I take quite a bit of time usually to, to plan my positioning. Alright and here we go. We are ready for the computer to make its move and now we play the waiting game. Notice, by the way, where my sniper is positioned on the bottom of the screen. There's a bug that I'm going to show you later on that's going to happen. Pretty darn bizarre thing. Anyway, see where the sniper is now? Watch what happens in a couple turns. Both my heavies, FYI, have rocket launchers, so although I don't have grenades, I do have two means of mass destruction. Again, see where my sniper is right now? Fire in the zone. My sniper has a scope, by the way. No body armor underneath the uh, standard uniform, so I'm lucky that that missed. Uh, my heavy is not so lucky. Now, notice where my sniper is. My sniper somehow got moved to the square to the left from where she had been positioned in the first place. This is not an edit. This is one of those weird fair axis events. Anyway, back to our action. Yes, I'm actually thinking. I'm going to use a pistol shot to take out the already wounded Thin Man. My assault doesn't even have an aiming point here, but I can't do much about it at the moment. I'm contemplating getting an extra person to shoot there, but I might get flanked by the third Thin Man, so I'm just going to stay played self safe. Now, this heavy has bullet swarm, so as I finish off this Thin Man, the beauty of it is I can still now go on Overwatch and wait for the third guy to show up.
and the injured heavy who got shot I'm gonna actually back him up that's why I had left that corner space open in the first place so my guys could fall back should they get shot and now the thin man coming from the bottom cannot take a shot at him this is one of those scenarios where I actually waited with my salt chick to move to the end because now she's gonna take the spot of the injured heavy the thin man takes a direct approach on the roof. Negative damage. And that takes care of pod number one. Now I basically resume my crawl effectively. And I'm going to hold the injured heavy slightly back, because obviously uh, another hit could be fatal. Notice I moved my team in such a way that I have a wide variety of options of where I can approach the uh, edge of that roof. Right, and my assault unit is going to lead the way to trip the second pod now. Avanzo alla posizione, aprire il fuoco! Okay, that Bravo. guy on the roof is trouble. He has the least negative to hit, and I have the least pluses to hit him. So I'm gonna get rid of him as soon as I can, although not with my assault unit as the odds are pretty slim of hitting him. Okay, that's a good shot. One down. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to shoot the guy on the roof with my sniper. This is why I always give my snipers the gunslinger ability. Yep, that will allow her to move. This st heavy, by the way, that's the injured guy. He's sitting back in case my sniper doesn't do the job. He's gonna fire a rocket and kill that guy. I cannot afford him shooting back. He will do lots of harm if he gets to shoot back. Here we go, actually. I'm rolling. She does three to four damage with gunslinger ability. That's 50% chance to kill outright and 50% critical. So three out of four times that was a kill, and I got lucky as well right now. Now I've got two heavies that can fire, and hopefully Position confirmed. I hit the last guy on the bottom as I can fire missiles after moving. Bam! Second pod done. Next stage, just FYI, I'm going to send my assault unit on a walk around town. I'm going to check that alley past the yellow car then I'm going to check the roof on that building across the street and then eventually I'm going to drift to the right. Now at the, making, at the time of the making of this video I already know where the alien pod is obviously but at the time when I was playing this I did not so you're actually looking at a snippet of me just being thorough with my activities. Notice where I place my sniper on the very right of the screen right now. She's got the squad sight and that gives her about the maximum coverage of the roof and the street down below. Okay, I end up not finding anything uh, until I get to the inside of the building edge of the street. There's my sniper again. 
and I've brought my heavies in here to support. In retrospect, I probably should have moved one of them to assist my assault uh, unit when I opened the door, but oh well. Okay, I think this is random. Two to three aliens could have spawned. I got lucky on this one. There are only two. My sniper can see only one. That is not good, but it is a hundred percent hit. My sniper, by the way, is I think already a lieutenant at this point, even though this is only my fifth mission. Uh, she kills a lot. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to give my assault first dibs on the shot. Maybe she'll kill someone. In retrospect, perhaps I shouldn't be as uh, relaxed about this situation, but... Here we go. Oh, that kind of failed, but this is where the sniper comes in. Alright, and now because I didn't move uh, at least one of my heavy down to the street level, I can't directly hit this last guy and that's not good. And uh, this is where I'm not even going to pretend to mess around. Here comes the rocket launcher. Avec plaisir. French for with pleasure, by the way. All right, moving on. Mi dirigo a quella posizione. I get completely lucky here. I can actually see the position of the next pod without giving away my position. I don't know what causes this, but uh, I'm going to use this to my advantage. Had this not happened, by the way, I would not go into this next room anyway, just because it's too far for me to retreat. What I would have done is backed out here, taken the ladder up with the rest of my team. As it is, though, I'm actually going to keep my assault units in spot, especially since in my experience, sometimes the aliens find you when you're trying to retreat from that position. I don't know how it works. But I'm going to keep my assault where she is and uh, the rest of my team are just going to climb that roof. And again, I do a roof crawl. I don't trust the AI and the bizarre pathing in the game. I'm extremely careful with what I do. There now. Anyway, eventually I make it all the way to the edge here. Notice, I'm not going to make my move until the turn has reset and everybody has a full range of motion. Alright, my guys are in position on that roof, and now my assault is going to flush them out. Something I didn't even notice, the mysteriously iron cash register provides me with full cover. And Sensors here we still go. indicate life signs in the area, Commander. We have a new objective. Got me flanked. All right. This is actually the easiest part of all of them in retrospect.
Again, I'm letting my assault uh, unit take the first shot. I really need to. Nice. Okay, and my heavy is going to take a shot now. He gets extra experience for killing these pigeons, by the way. Even though I could shoot from this position, actually, I don't like being unflanked just in case something goes horribly wrong. So I'm gonna advance. I'm on the move! And, well, let's give it a go. Alright, that takes care of all four pods on the Portland mission. As the game says, good luck, Commander.